right, you got to pardon me for a minute. Stan, I want you to check my knee here. Uh, you cut it a few years ago. You know, there's a, it, it still works okay, but, but it, it, there's a little pain there. I don't know. What do you think? Do aspirin and call me in the morning. <laughs> Thank you, Stan. That, I was going to say, if you had a dollar for every knee you operated on, you well, but you do have. <laughs> how many knees? How many knees over the years do you think? Uh, variously estimated around eight thousand. Eight thousand knees, and you, you were. You were a tough guy when it comes to rehab. You wanted to get them back as quickly as possible, didn't you? Well, that was an integral part of it, certainly. <clears throat> as any trainer, Gene Gieselman, uh, can tell you, the surgery is one part. The rehab and the dedication of the athlete uh, is the other part. You know, after you did my knee, and I, I got to tell you how tough he is. He came in the next morning, 6.30 in the morning, and I'm laying in bed. The knee's going, wah, wah, wah. This is before they could use the scope, of course. And he said, let me see you lift it. I said, I can't, Doc, I can't lift it. it. It hurts. He said, no, Ron, you got to lift it. I said, I can't do it. He got his hand behind my heel, picked up the leg, and said, hold it there. I'll drop it. And I held it there, and he said, I want you to lift it 100 times today. And within three weeks, you had me running, and with you and Jesus Gieselman had me running a mile, and the rehab was, was incredible. Well, that's because the, uh, the genetics, the DNA of you. <laughs> I, I seriously doubt that. What, who was the toughest athlete that you had to deal with in terms of his pain tolerance and his ability to overcome injury and things like that? Well, I'd, I'd have to say it's Bob Gibson. I knew you'd say that. Uh, Gibby was uh, uh, maybe the best competitor uh, that I ever worked with. Uh, if we have a moment, I'll tell you a very brief story. Go right ahead. Uh, spring training way back when in St. Petersburg, Florida. Uh, first game of spring training, Gibby is supposed to throw two innings. And first hitter is a rookie with the Mets. And he comes up in the first pitch that Gibby threw. He hit it into the bay out at uh, Al Lang Field. It was foul, but it went a mile. The next pitch was right at his head. That's the way <laughs> Gibby pitched. You're, you're right about it. And he pitched with a broken leg one time, too. He did. He did indeed. you got to be pretty tough to pitch with a broken leg. Dr. Stan London, Stan, thank you for all the athletes you've helped over the years. Thank you very much.